He said, the media doesn't represent the people, it never will represent the people, and we're going to do something about it. Uh, a lot of journalists got a chill up their spine hearing that sentence. This White House does not seem to value an independent press. There is a word for that line of thinking. The word is un-American. Well, CNN anchor Jake Tapper says it's un-American. The mainstream media, more like left-stream media, losing it after President Trump went after them at CPAC. So should the president keep up his attacks on the press? Let's ask someone who was there, deputy opinion editor for the Washington Times, Kelly Rydell, joining us right now. Kelly, good to see you. Good to see you, too. So you're seeing two things play out, right? One is, is the, the mainstream media reaction to the speech, and then if you were, if you were watching it and you were there, a much different reaction. Yeah, I mean, the speech was very well received. Listen, Donald Trump did call out the media in the first part of his speech, but then I counted he covered 20 other topics in it as well, everything from repealing Obamacare to tax reform to treating law enforcement with respect to drug trafficking and the, insur uh, the, the insurgence of drugs in this country, things that everyday Americans care sure. about. Well, you wouldn't know that, though. Yeah, exactly. You know, I think the news media's favorite beat right now is themselves. <laughs> and, the, and the American people don't care about stories by the media on the media. They want to hear about stories that affect them, policies that affect their everyday lives. And right now what we're seeing is a growing disconnect between the American people and the news, sure. the elitist news media, because all they want to do is cover themselves you see, you and make themselves the victims. You see that disconnect even in the coverage of themselves, because there yeah. seems to be willful conflation. They say the media is under attack. And what President Trump has said, no, it's the fake news. Yes. It's the lying. It's the false reporting. And the media just won't accept that there can be a distinction there. You can have a free and independent press but also call out fake news. Well, yes, and Donald Trump said yesterday, I'm going to use my First Amendment rights to defend myself against the press, and they can use their First Amendment rights to print whatever they want to. But when that's fake news and when that's not correct, I'm going to call them out on it. And he also went off against, you know, anonymous sourcing. But Ryan Lizza at The New Yorker took a, took a tweet from what Donald Trump's saying and saying Donald Trump proposes a constitutional ban against anonymous sourcing. Well, that is not true. <laughs> that is not what Donald Trump said. He said he'd prefer it if, you know, there wasn't all this anonymous sourcing there because two things can be true about anonymous sourcing one is that you know they're needed to break some very powerful stories but two anonymous sources can also be used to spin fake narratives um, from that source and from a reporter trying to use that source without any accountability tied to it no, sure. that's so well said there's such an important role for media but they've also got to get it right that's right yeah. Kelly, Kelly Rydell, you ate your Wheaties this morning and we appreciate it Thank <laughs> good you to see you in. Kelly thanks guys you